hey hi and welcome back so in this video we are going to complete the layout of five different sections the first one is microcontroller section then the reset section user input switch section rgb led section and preset section okay so we will complete the layout of all these sections in this video all right now let's start with this video now uh, after that when we did the power budget calculation we saw that the maximum current which this particular controller is draining it's going to be 300 milliampere so again uh, we need to select a appropriate track width to pass uh, you know the appropriate amount of current uh, towards this controller so again i will go to the route air wire and uh, here you can select or you can go for the 10 mil track width also because uh, that much track width is capable of providing you know passing 450 milliampere of current so uh, we just need or this particular controller section is just going to drain 300 milliampere so a track width of 10 mil is actually more than enough for this section but still i'm going to use a little higher track width and let's go for 20 mil or let's go for 25 mil and let me do the connection uh, towards this uh, controller section okay so likewise i will do the connection till this point and later um from here the current is going to come okay uh, we also discussed that this controller is never going to drain 300 milliampere of current but still we have to create the design uh considering the all aspects okay so now straight away let's let's uh, let's do the connection we know that the vcc pin of this ic uh, it's not going to drain current more than you know uh 150 milliampere okay it's as per the data sheet so again i'm just going to select a trace width of 10 mil here because 10 mil trace width is more than enough for the uh, more than enough to pass a current of for, for you know uh, 150 milliampere so i will just use 10 mil here and after that i'm just going to do the straight connection here and again i will do the straight connection like this and we just have to connect these you know uh, capacitors like this so here i can actually increase the trace width or uh, let it be 10 mil is also fine because from here the 300 milliampere current is going to come and then uh, in worst case if this particular pin is draining 5 150 milliampere and this pin is draining 150 milliampere then through this track the 300 milliampere of current is actually going to pass okay so let let me increase the width of this particular track to 25 mil and uh, so now this much actually track width is more than enough so from here 150 will go here then uh, 150 will go here okay we are actually talking about the worst case all right so we are done with this part this connection now let's uh, let's connect this um uh, let's connect this power pin so we are done with the power pins of controller now uh, let's go to the controller section and let's do the connection for the controller section first okay so we are done with the connection of power supply section and let's do the connection for controller section now so let's start from the crystal part so this is actually the crystal part and straight away you can select here you know the trace width of 10 mil because the current which is going to uh, flow through this crystal or uh, towards this uh, you know the current which will pass through these pins towards the crystal it's going to be in milliampere's uh, tens of uh, it's it's going to be a single digit okay so we don't need to bother much about it and i'm just going to do the connections like this you just have to make sure that uh, these two tracks will not, should not be too much close because that will form a coupling okay so we generally keep uh, these two tracks little away from each other and later straight away you can do the connection from here so i will just select the track uh, these are actually the load capacitors and they are part of the oscillator circuitry and we are actually not going to do any ground connection in this entire uh, layout at this moment uh, we are going to do the ground connection in the end uh, because uh, we are going to connect the all the grounds on the layout uh, with the help of polygon okay so we will create a big polygon uh, with a ground plane or it is also called as ground plane and later we will you know all the connections uh, with ground uh, will be connected automatically okay so we will leave all the ground connection at this moment and we will connect them at the end all right so i hope that that's clear uh, this is basically uh, the capacitor between the dtr pin and the reset pin so it's going to be uh, it's, it will be collect, connected like this so you, which you can see here so this is actually connected here then uh, it's going towards this uh, this particular section okay so let me select the track and let's connect this directly here and uh, after that uh, i will do the connection like this towards this towards this section like this you can do 
because this is actually the reset pin once we press the switch the reset signal is going to travel like this towards this particular pin okay this pin will be connected to the ground so you can lay the track in any way because uh, you know uh, this signal is just a on off signal so we don't need to bother about this signal so that's basically the reset pin uh, capacitor on reset pin now in controller section we are done with the capacitor we are done with uh, this capacitor now we are left with reset section so let's do the connection of reset section of controller so the connection is very straightforward okay again uh, from here the milliampere of current is actually going to flow it's going to be actually in you know even less than 1 milliampere we, we have already discussed that so straight away you can lay the track with a width of 1 mil most of the time you need to concern about you know the power tracks because they will be little bit bigger because most of the power or the current is actually going to flow through those tracks now here all the tracks or most of the tracks uh you need to route with a thickness of 10 mil because uh mo 10 mil thickness is actually more than enough to route most of the tracks on the pcb but still you always have to keep in your mind whether the current which is flowing through that particular track it has to be you know uh, uh it has to be less than the maximum current which it can pass okay which that particular track can pass so it, you always have to keep that point in mind so we are done with the reset section now and uh, we are also done with the oscillator section now let's connect uh, let's connect the user input switch so this is basically the user input switch uh, so i'm i'm going to uh, connect so first of all let me click on show option and let's see where the connection is going so the connection is going like this towards this uh, pin so let's do the connection uh, this is basically very simple connection and straightforward connection so we will quickly do it all right so done and now uh let's uh, let's connect the rgb led section so there are three resistors here and the connection towards this rgb led is very simple straight away like this we have to do the connection and uh, you can see here uh, this is this bend is actually automatically formed uh, because there is actually a clearance area here and this is because of software or the because of footprint so if you try to you know uh if you try to lay this track in this manner then this is actually the warning it means that this uh, distance between this pad and this particular track is very close and you may uh, you may face the problem during the manufacturing of this pcb so you have to make sure there should not be any kind of overlap and accordingly you have to lay the tracks for rest of the sections all right so we are done with the uh, we are done with this connection and let's connect the rest of the pins of the rgb led section okay so uh, i'm i'm actually doing you know the layout very quickly as i have to create the video but you can spend enough amount of time and you can take uh, the decision even i take lot of time you know while creating the layout so we are done with the rgb led part and we have done all the connections so i will just place these uh, tracks little bit closer or close to each other and these are actually just uh, you know uh, the on off signals so we are not concerned much about it but you can also give a spacing uh if you place this track too much close to this particular track then what will happen you know the signal which is actually passing through this track uh it, it's going to influence or there will be a mutual induction here okay so there will be coupling here between these two tracks so we generally keep this track little bit away from this particular uh track and uh, if you do if you want uh, there should be no effect of this track uh on this track then what we will do we will isolate this track and we will keep this track little bit away from this particular track but in our case as as i told you these the signals which are passing uh on these lines are actually uh, not high speed signal they are just on off signal with very low frequency so even if you place these tracks close to each other it's completely fine all right so i'm just going to place these tracks at a little bit distance all right so that's fine so we are done with the rgb section now let's go and let's connect um and now let's uh, let's uh, go towards the preset section and let's do the connection here so this is basically the analog pin so first of all let me check where the connection is going so i will just uh, show and this is actually connected here so it's basically a straight connection that's why we have placed this particular component here otherwise we would have changed the position of this component after that now we are here left with 5 volt so we can actually connect this particular track directly here but you you have to make sure that whatever current this preset is going to drain from this track it will actually come from this pin okay 
so the current is going to come like this okay towards this preset so you have to make sure that this pin uh, this pin is actually capable of passing more current but uh, it will be a better choice if you you know uh, if you connect this uh, 5 volt track directly to the uh, you know power rail or plus 5 volt power rail uh, you can power this particular part independently and you can power this uh, preset part independently because in this case this preset is actually going to drain less current but uh, you may be in a situation where the peripheral is uh, might be draining too much current okay so let's say if the peripheral is draining um, uh, 400 milliampere of current or let's say 100 milliampere of current then you will not connect this track directly here because that entire current will actually you know it's going to pass through this uh, this particular track okay so entire 100 milliampere or 200 milliampere of current is going to pass through this single track so this is actually the not wise decision to connect this track directly here so what you can do you can uh, create a separate track and later you can connect this track directly to plus 5 volt okay so what we will do at this moment let's not connect this track uh, we will first of all do all the easy connections and later uh, we will connect rest of the connections okay all right so we almost completed the layout of five different sections and uh, in next video we are going to start with the layout of seven segment display section and motor driver section all right now i will see you in the next video